Yo, what up guys, Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers, and today I just got a pretty interesting shoe in, it's the LeBron 16 Low. It goes for 160 bucks, which makes it $25 cheaper than the actual LeBron 16, which is super dope, you know, it looks like the most of the tech is the exact same, uh, but you're getting it for $25 cheaper, you know, and uh, a lot of people were saying, what is the LeBron 16, you know, like, it's, it's a low, so why they make a low version? So, um, I mean, uh, I'm not really complaining because it is $25 cheaper and uh, when I put it on the court and it performs the same, then we, people can just get the low and save 25 bucks, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, if you guys want to cop, we'll, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the traction. So the traction is exactly the same as the LeBron 16. Uh, on this colorway, there is a little bit of translucent here on the toe like the tippy tippy toe but most of it here where the forefoot midfoot and in the heel is is a solid white rubber outsole which is good uh, as you guys know the LeBron 16 is a really good traction pattern and also rubber compound pretty durable as well so I'm not really too worried you know there is a pink dunk man right here on the bottom oh so it's really interesting on this colorway there's a pink dunk man or LeBron I guess on the left and the red is on the right so that's pretty cool but other than that pretty much the same exact traction pattern as the LeBron 16 and same goes for the cushion the cushion is you know zoom you know the court feel is not very good but it's super bouncy impact protection is insane and also in the heel you have a little blend of you know zoom and air max so yeah, that's, that's the same exact cushion setup. Uh, let's move on to the materials. The materials are a little bit different, but you know, it, they feel they still feel pretty nice. I mean, as far as just the feeling in hand, it, it feels nice. On foot, it feels soft, conforms to your foot really well, very supportive, pretty damn thin as well. So uh, materials seem pretty nice. Uh, in the midfoot area, slash I guess where the tongue is supposed to be it's more of a stretchier knit it's not as stretchy as I thought it would be it's like not yeah, it's just a little bit of a stretch just a little bit and uh, that helps make the shoe easier to put on and uh, the lacing system also is really really weird so the lacing system the laces go through just half like half of the midfoot area so it goes this this lace this half of the lace goes right here and keeps going like this. It's really, really interesting. I, I didn't really notice anything as far as like it being better or worse. It t tightens just the same as a regular lacing system. So, um, and then on the last eyelet, it kind of goes through here, this little flappy flap thing. So it goes here halfway, and then on the last eyelet, it goes through here, and then you know, kind of crosses. You know, so uh, that's interesting. In the in the heel ankle area, you have a leather material. Feels real nice. Um, I don't really know why they added this because it makes the heel feel a lot bulkier than it should But other than that, you know, it's a pretty nice leather material. I'd say it's more of like a Like a textile. Yeah, it's, it's basically just a textile to be honest and uh, it's, it's a nice textile You know, it's not flying it or battling it or whatever, but you know, it, it gets a job done just the same So uh, there's that also another cool little touch is that the Nike swoosh right here the little baby one on the toe is like iridescent that looks pretty cool um, and, and same with the LeBron James signature here on the tongue and there also is a lion uh, for the king or whatever here on the tongue as well and there is a crown on the back also another cool interesting thing is which I thought was a really cool touch is the insole the insole here it's it says LeBron James on the insole but like the color is different so on this pair it's red and on this pair it's pink i don't know if you guys can see it probably a little dark for you guys but uh it is pretty cool that they did that and also the lace tips the lace tips uh this, on this pair is pink and then on the other pair on the left pair it's red so that's a nice little touch as well i wonder what that's for but anyways uh, there's a materials fit i i I went through the size, it runs slightly long. You got, if you want it super snug, super tight, and if you want your toe right at the edge, I'd probably suggest going down half a size. But other than that, I'd suggest going true to size. I think that that's pretty good. And width wise, it's really, really narrow. Like, it, it's choking my foot out just a little bit. Nothing too crazy as, as far as just like, yeah, I can't, I can't wear it at all. But it's, it's just kind of tight, you know, it's kind of annoying, so. But other than that, it's pretty easy to slide your foot in. Um, I, I wish it was a little bit stretchier, you know, this material. But other than that, uh, easy to put on and uh, fits 
fits real nice besides I guess it being a little snug with wise so there's that support in lockdown seems like it's gonna be good I mean basically it's basically the same thing as LeBron 16 uh, it, it does worry me a little bit maybe the four foot lateral containment isn't gonna be as good uh, maybe the material isn't as you know supportive and stuff like that but I, I doubt that uh, also another thing is you know you're high off the ground and, and the cushion is pretty you know soft as far as like the edges go here in the heel and you know so uh, I feel like maybe lateral stability might not be as good, but you know, I feel like it's gonna be pretty similar to the LeBron 16. Also, they kept the, the outrigger here as well for the LeBron 16 low. Yeah, moving on to weight, I just weighed these, it's 14.2 ounces. Uh, that's pretty heavy. Um, it's not as heavy as the LeBron 16. The LeBron 16 was like 15.2, I believe. So it's not as heavy as that, but 14.2 14, 14 ounces around there is still pretty damn heavy. It doesn't feel heavy, yes feels pretty damn heavy and uh, the materials don't feel heavy it's just like for this shoe all the weight feels like it's on the bottom of your foot you know it's like bottom heavy it feels kind of like Vans or Converse does so aesthetics I, I like this I like this shoe and uh, previously LeBron's lows have always been like an Air Max unit or you know something like really different but I, I'd say well, I, the 15 was very different the 14 was kind of similar if I remember correctly but other than that, yeah, it's usually very different, his lows, but in the 16s, they kept the traction and the cushion exactly the same, which is interesting. I wonder why they did that, but anyways, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics of the LeBron 16 low down in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, that's the LeBron 16 low. Uh, I, I have good, I have high hopes for this. You know, I like the LeBron 16s. I haven't been playing in it that much because, you know, weight is a little, it is a big issue for me. Like, if, if, if a shoe is... You know, pretty damn heavy versus I guess like the the Kyrie's or even like the Hardens or PG's for me. Uh, I will choose the lighter shoe. You know, if the performance is pretty much the same. So yeah, I haven't been playing these too much because of that. But this is a little bit lighter than the LeBron 16, just the regular one. So hopefully, you know, it does feel a little bit lighter. And um, you know, everything else seems like I, I feel like it's gonna be. You know, just exactly the same as the LeBron 16. So so I'm speculating that the LeBron 16 low is gonna have the same performance as a LeBron 16, but it's $25 cheaper. So uh, it'll be a good way to save money if you guys want a good performer. So anyways, that's my first impressions of the LeBron 16 low. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.